In early August, a 13 year old Coolidge boy died walking to the park with his brother. Doctors believe thyroid medication contributed to his death. News 4 Tucson Stephanie Weaver spoke with the Arizona Poison and Drug Information Center about how medications and heat could impact your health. Two at six. It was a tragic day in Coolidge. When the emergency personnel arrived, the teen's body temperature was 109 degrees. So could the desert heat be affecting the medicine you take? The hot Arizona weather can make us feel dizzy, dehydrated, and fatigued. Dr. Mazda Shirazi says if you're on certain medications, you could feel those effects even more. The ho active hormone types of thyroid medication can actually increase your body's meta metabolic rate and cause increased heat generation. He says other medications could also play a role. Such as congestive heart failure, patients who are on medications such as for blood pressure, especially beta blockers and calcium channel blockers. They are a certain type of medication we use for antihistamines that can actually uh, interfere with heat reduction. Shirazi suggests reading medication labels to find out the recommended storage temperatures since the heat can affect medications before you take them. Our temperatures in the car, as you can uh, know, is that the temperatures can go above 120 to 130 degrees and that can actually uh, destroy the ingredients, active ingredients of a medication or make it inactive. Whether on medication or not, he is still Arizona's number one weather related killer. Sharanzi recommends staying cool by drinking plenty of water and decreasing physical activity outdoors. Stephanie Weaver, News 4 Tucson. Southwest